watch them all day but it's time to get back to work. Ooh. Ooh. That's frosty today. Time for a coat. Of course we mustn't forget about the wildlife this time of year. Right, let's put these out. Yeah, make sure these are disposed of correctly. Not the greatest idea. I mean they should be biodegradable really. Days of plastic are you know over really. Okay, I'll give it a few minutes. Grab myself a cup of tea. Oh, there's a bird already. It must be really hungry. Let's see if I can see what we're we're feeding at the moment. Now oh, there's a little robin. Right tits, blue tits. Who's going to be the bravest? Ah, there's the robin in the tree. He's very hard to film. I've tried him so many times. He follows me around the garden when I'm gardening, digging. Of course the land is solid at the moment, so just down to feeders. Maybe we'll do a stake out in the garden next to where the feeders are. All right. I might take a few minutes for him to forget about me in here. Breakfast is coming. <laughs> Not had mine yet. I'm getting hungry. Oh. Right, now let's see what we can get. Forget to subscribe. Two channels now. Oh, it's cold. Yeah, it's lovely to see the wildlife. Sit there all day, but I'd end up with hypothermia. <laughs> okay, right, we get started in the video. Lighting sorted out. Let me know what you think of the new improved lighting system. So I've got these everywhere now. I've got some lead lights as well. So hopefully, you know, I do listen to your comments, and I, I did know the lighting was a bit of a challenge. Uh, sometimes it's the camera, you've got it on the wrong setting. When you've got gloves on and you're working away, you hit the touch screen and you change something. I'm not particularly technically minded like that, but um, yeah, the writing's so small on the cameras, and when you've got big gloves on, it's, it's hard to see. So yeah, I, I do acknowledge my uh, mistakes. I'm filming sometimes, but hey, I'm only an amateur. <laughs> so in the last video I managed to cut and set the surround timbers. That was quite a lot of work for probably not that much footage but there's lots of times I have to lift on and off and readjust. But anyway we're there now, we've got the timbers cut. I'm going to fix in into the face of them. Um, also got an idea about putting some hidden fixings into the ground so it kind of holds the stones all together but when the new floor comes in those fixings will be hidden. So. I've got to check my uh, supplies for some little bars. So what I'm going to do is put a couple of fixings in here, countersink them, and then dowel them. Now as far as fixing it into the ground, I'm going to get some metal rebar pins and punch them down like that into the ground so that our new tiled surface will go over the top of that. So they'll be hidden. And then that way, once we get the square timber post sitting on here obviously there's an outward force for taking any weight so all this will be filled with mortar these will be mortared in as well around the edges there'll also be some little hidden rebars just to hold it all in nice and tight 
and then the same that end. Another thing I've noticed in this cold weather, apart from me working a little bit slower, is the batteries run out a lot quicker. So yeah, the old cold really does affect everything. Everything you touch, metal and stone, is absolutely bitterly cold. Never mind. That's why I'm working on the fireplace. Should have it done for summer. <laughs> right, let's get set up, get me tools, drills, and look for those little bits of rebar. So that's the pins cut, got a little bit of left over in case I need some longer ones. Put those to one side. I'm just going to mark the hole. Now what I normally do when I'm going into oak Pop a bit of grease on the screw, that way I'll ease it in, because these are quite hard to get in for oak. One in the bottom, and that will be uh, nice and secure. Let's drop this back down. I think that'll help close the. Yeah, that's it. That's closed it up. Brilliant. Right, new screw. New screw bit for the top. Yeah, here we go. I don't think that's going to come apart anytime soon. Brilliant, that's that, all screwed up. Right, I think I'd better level it back up again. Get me pins out ready. Make sure it's all square. Pin it. And then on to the next stage. Making progress now. Boy, that was hard digging out yesterday. Ooh. Certainly taking shape now. that one is as well. Now I'm not going to sand these because there's lots of work going on in this area. I'm not going to finish the edges off or anything yet. I'm going to put a bevel on it, same as the post like I discussed. And what it is, see that bevel there? I'm going to replicate that and then transfer it down onto them. Now several things it picks up with the tradition and how it's been built. But it also stops you, you know, catching your knees on there when you get in there to make the fire up. It's just a little bit more friendly. I'm going to knock up some lime and some heavy duty aggregate with sort of big stones in. And it's simply just to haunch up the outside. And I've got the floor level to sort of dig out still. So basically what the haunching will do is when it comes to being filled up with the mortar, it'll just stop it running completely out the bottom. So. Yeah, that's the idea. Then we can take the wooden packers out, let that go off, and then, uh, yeah, get on to the next stage. First, we've got to pop those pins in. Hopefully. And tap that down. That 
should be pretty much there. Yep, that's pretty spot on. Perfect. Right, let's get some more fixings. Just get this end pinned now. It's taking shape. So we've now got all the pins in. What we're going to do now is pour in the mortar all around here and along there. that will do, it will come out the bottom, a little bit along here, yep, it will come out the bottom of the timber and then that way I can just finish it off with a trail. Just simply pour it. Work it into all the all the gaps. We'll give it a little tap. This floor is absolutely solid that I'm standing on now. Stones don't move. It's all nicely locked tight together. Don't forget to check out my other channel. I dare say you've heard about it, Sean's Universe. Just visited an absolutely fantastic chateau. I won't give too much away, so head on over, check that one out. I much appreciate your support. I know there's lots of channels and you do watch, you know, so many nowadays, everybody, but I think you'll enjoy that one. Let me know in the comments, maybe you don't. <laughs> now us YouTubers rely on your support, feedback, comments, likes, to keep the channel running, because without you, it's not possible. And you're much appreciated. Because it's a dry mix, a little bit of agitation, and it will just flow, flow into all the voids and cracks and holes. Yep. Just to make it look like it's always been here. This isn't the final pointing. This is just, I think probably one before I point it out with a wet mix. And of course this big granite pad acts like a storage 
heater once it's warmed up. Another sweep in. There's no way that I could have set these on a wet mix and lifted the, the stones up on my own. So, set to think of another way, and I have. Every bit is good, not bad. All these stones will clean up if you get some water and wash them down. Nothing set at the moment on it, so. Not that I mind the look, actually, it looks quite nice. But it's not going to stay like that. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, it's taking shape. Now the other advantage of using this system, because it's minus two, three, four, maybe five even now, there's no water added, so, you know, it's not going to damage the mix or anything like that, so, you know, when it's really cold, it's a bit tricky with uh, using mortar, so, yeah, all in all, it's worked out rather well. Now just one other thing I wanted to raise, a few of you just said that YouTube had unsubscribed you from this channel and some other channels, so please check that you're still su subscribed even. <laughs> when I start messing my words up, it's late in the day. Yeah, check out, see whether you're still subscribed. Don't know how or why, but some people have said they've been unsubscribed, so not that it's all about that, but you know, the algorithm on YouTube is rather tricky and we need to keep them on our side, so yeah, check that out. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to both channels, or one or the other. Much appreciated. Okay, that is as far as I can go on this particular session. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.